Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk about the concept of the firm supply curve as its marginal cost curve. And this is for perfect competition. Let's have a quick look at the market supply curve first though, because it's usually more familiar for students and we need to understand what that's doing to understand the firm supply curve. The supply curve here is essentially telling us about the relationship between the price in a market and the amount that is going to be supplied in the market at that price. So for instance, in equilibrium here at P star, our market is supplying Q star. If it was any other price, say P prime, then to find out how much is supplied, we read off the supply curve and we're going to be willing to supply Q prime in the market. And we can do this for any range of prices, say P prime prime. Again, we just read off the supply curve. For the market supply curve, this gives us a relationship between price and quantity supplied in the market. But we need something different for the firm. We need to know the relationship between the price and the market and how much the firm will supply. To make this connection, we need to know our firm's profit maximizing condition that price is equal to marginal cost. So here I've just drawn our marginal cost curve here. And let's apply this profit maximization rule to this market. Let's just say it's in equilibrium at P star. Well, we know the firm is price takers, so we know the firm is going to see this price. And because it's a profit maximizing firm, it's going to set its quantity that it's going to produce such that price is equal to marginal cost. Okay, now, so it's going to do this for any price that the market throws at it. So let's just say that we experience an increase in demand. Well, the price has increased now to P prime. How is the firm going to react? Well, it's going to set its quantity such that P prime is equal to marginal cost. So the firm is now going to start producing Q prime. And again, we can think about this for any range of prices. So if it's the case that instead of an increase in demand, we had a decrease in demand, then the firm is just going to react by setting P prime prime in this case to marginal cost. What you'll notice here is that really what we have is a relationship between the market price then and the quantity that is being produced by the firm. So we can think for any range of prices that the market will throw at the firm, the firm is just going to respond by producing their quantity such that P is equal to MC. If we trace out all the possible prices, the relationship that we get between the price and the quantity produced by the firm just ends up tracing out the shape of the marginal cost. And this is exactly why we say then that it's the case that the firm supply for the perfectly competitive firm is its marginal cost curve. This of course isn't the whole story and I know that there are short and long run conditions that uh, it's a subject for another video, so we have to be mindful of things like our average total cost curve and our average variable cost curve. In particular, the short run supply curve for the firm is going to be the marginal cost curve above the minimum of the AVC, and the long run supply curve for the firm is going to be the marginal cost curve above the ATC. Before we finish, it's a good idea to have a look at how the firm supply curve as the marginal cost looks algebraically. Say that our firm's marginal cost curve just happens to be something like 4q plus 2. Now we're going to impose the profit maximizing condition that p is equal to mc. Well, if it's the case that p is equal to mc and mc is equal to 4q plus 2, then it must be the case that p is equal to 4q plus 2. Now, if you remember how I said that a supply curve is just a relationship between price and quantity, well, here it is. We have an algebraic expression which is a relationship between price and quantity. That is, we have a supply function. I hope that makes sense. It's not a particularly straightforward concept to get for most of the students. Remember, key here is the profit maximizing condition P is equal to MC. Please like and subscribe if this video helped you or check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.